Here is the story. This happened 30 years ago, back in 1987, at the heart of the oldest engineering school in the world and prestigious French Grand École, managed at that time by an executive board that was basically French male engineers. With one important exception, Mrs. Celia Russo, not French, but Argentinian, a woman, and not even an engineer. And contrary to what these gentlemen could have expected from her, she stood up and convinced them to set up an international business school. For context, at that time, East and West Germany were still separated by a wall and globalization was not a buzzword. Yet the founder of the École de Pons Business School realized that the pace of change was accelerating, not only in technology, but also in business. Business was becoming the most powerful force on the planet, substantially affecting the lives of billions of people and shaping the world. With vision and a sense of personal mission, she set out to empower leaders who will contribute to make the world a better place. A world where business carries the responsibility of a new order. Developing wealth is something to be shared that sustains the well-being of all people all over the world. Promoting work is a source of life enhancement and fulfillment. Leveraging innovation and technology as sources of human progress. Ensuring the richness of cultural diversity and caring about our fragile planet so that we measure progress not only by profits, but by our positive impact of all the planet's stakeholders. In short, being in business to make a better world. The business world isn't there yet, as we can see in media around the globe, but we believe more than ever in pushing business in this direction. Since 1987, an entire community of like-minded individuals has come together from all over the world embracing this vision. In business to make a better world.